What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? I hope you're doing well today. So, I was I was kind of, I was kind of considering taking the day off, but then I thought, you know what? I want to just check out what's going on. So here I am, and I did have a couple of songs come through, which led me to believe that it could be for Sagittarius, but it could also be for Gemini. I don't know for sure. I don't know. It could be for any sign. I'm not going to even say. Um, but the song, the first song that came through was the Caitlin Smith song that Sagittarius always gets. Um, what's it called? <laughs> Y'all know which one I'm talking about. Um, Oh, gosh, I can't think right now for some reason. Anyway, that song came through. And then another song by Caitlin Smith. It was about, um, I, don't li I don't like the world without you or something like that. And then there was a stained song right here waiting, right here. You always find a way to keep me right here waiting, that song. So, I'm pretty sure this is a love reading, just saying. <laughs> but we'll see. We shall see. It's hot today, too. Very hot. Alright, I'm just going to check the energy real quick. And I'm not in a hurry, so if you are, you're probably in the wrong place. <laughs> and if you were wondering why I have this black candle here, it's top secret. <laughs> No, I was trying a little giddy. I might, might have done a little spell work. <laughs> I might have done a little spell work. A little giddy about Jack and Diane. Two American kids doing the best that they can. <laughs> the energy looks good. Alright, so let's see who Spirit wants to give a message to today. Bay, bay. I'm in a mood too, y'all. I'm feeling a little naughty. Hold on one second. I gotta help Miss Mary. All right. Sorry for the interruption. Let's see who this reading is going to be for. Holy Spirit. And I'm in a mood. I'm telling you, I'm in a mood. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up, but I've been singing and everything. Who this for? Who this for? Oh. Who is it for, Spirit? Hold up. Is it cancer? Is it cancer? Oh my God, it's cancer, y'all. Oh, wow. I haven't had a cancer reading in a minute. Hold up, though. Is it just cancer, Spirit? Is it just for cancer? Yeah. Yes, it's just yeah. for you, cancer. Spirit's got a message for you, cancer. Ha, ha, ha. Look out, look out, look out. All right, let's see what comes out of the book today. Do we want to just do like a random page, Spirit, or do we want to go by the day? Let's just do a random page. Who cares? Does it even matter what day it is? <laughs> All right, Spirit. Can I have a page for cancer that'll go perfect for their situation? Do some magic stuff right here. Wow. <clears throat> Don't worry about the regrets of the past. God forgives you. Don't stress over a wrong word or a misguided action. God forgives you. Do, do not cry over a bad decision or a terrible mistake. God forgives you. Learn the lessons from your actions. Then turn to God and know that he loves you and forgives you. Then strive to do better the next time. And this is page 313. Okay, and the um, scripture that goes with this is, The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy. 
he will joy over thee with singing. Zephaniah 317. And this is one of my favorite verses. Somebody's birthday could be, or there could be a significant something about October 24th for whoever. But this verse right here is one of my favorites because it talks about how God sings over us while we're sleeping. That we rest in his love and he will joy with us singing over us while we're asleep that is beautiful so it's just saying over and over again that god forgives you god forgives you don't stress over anything you've done wrong or misguided action god forgives you don't cry over a bad decision or a terrible mistake there's somehow something has caused you to feel like you've made a mistake and spirit is saying don't stress over it I got it. I got you. All right, what prayer would you get? That would almost seem like the Lord's Prayer, but I don't know. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we have all done things that we regret. We've all made bad decisions. None of us are perfect. None of us can walk on water. Okay? So, whatever it is, don't stress it. Don't stress it. God's got you. Okay, let's see what will come out of this magic oracle book. Mary, do some amazing things for cancer today, please. Do some really, really amazing stuff for cancer today. <gasps> Negative energy must be removed. We haven't gotten this page in a hot minute. All right, if you're new here, this page comes up quite frequently, but it hasn't been coming up as much. And what you do here is there is a problem, and it's holding you back. And it's taking up too much of your energy. And if you're not forgiving yourself for something that you did in the past, if you're holding yourself hostage for a mistake, for some reason abortion is coming to mind. Like maybe somebody had an abortion in the past. And I know we don't like to talk about stuff like that. But somebody may have had an abortion in the past. And they regret that, that that was something that they did. And they may not be able to forgive. It could have been recently. It doesn't have to be in the past. But God is saying, it's taking up too much room in your life. Whatever it is. It doesn't have to be an abortion. That just is what came to my mind. For whatever reason. But what you do is you will need an old shoe and a black magic marker. You take the bottom, you write on the bottom of the shoe with the black magic marker, whatever it is that's going on negative in your life. Put the shoe on and stomp it out. Jump on it. Slam it down. Feel free to take some aggression out on it if needed. And then take the shoe off and dispose of it in a trash can far away from your house. Okay? All right, Spirit. Can we get another message for cancer? Is there any other message for cancer? Your next move is vital. Cancer, Spirit is saying that what you're going to do next is vital. Vital. It's very, very vital. And somebody may know somebody who has had um, conjoined twins that had to have separation. They were joined, you know, uh, Siamese twins, I think they call that. I don't remember what they call it. But for some reason, there's something going on in your life that's negative, and there's no room for that negativity in your life. It's time to get rid of it. And this is a way that you can usually get rid of it. All right, so let's see what virtue spirit is working on in your life, Cancer. It's been a while since I've been reading for you, too. Reading. What virtues are you working on in Cancer's life? Responsibility. I'm surprised we didn't get forgiveness. Joy. And loyalty. Responsibility, joy, and loyalty. 
So Spirit wants to focus on something that you're being responsible for and wants you to find joy and you're loyal. You're always loyal. Like cancers are one of the most loyal signs, I think. It's, if you have a friend that's a cancer, you have a loyal friend. Like, they are very loyal people. Alright, so let's find out what's going on with the black deck. How are you working in Cancer's life, Spirit? How are you working in Cancer's life? The Fool came out. Cancer, wow. Wow. When the Fool comes out as what's working, you are about to start something new. It looks like you have a lot of people watching you for some reason. That, that's the fool. And my hands have these little places on them. I'm so sorry about that. It's because I've been doing yard work and I got scratched by some thorns. Mm -hmm. And I have a really hard time getting things like that to heal on me because of my lupus. Alright, so we're about to take a risk. Boo! Either that or somebody's acting full. Wait, let's just wait. All right, what's the energy to overcome? The star. The star came out upside down. So you have a sense of no hope. No trust. All right, what's going to pull this together? Whoa, that's a lot. What's going to pull this together? Death flipped over in reverse. So something's not changing. For some reason, I feel like this spread is all wrong. I'm going to go with it, though. And then you're going to use bad judgment on the um, bottom of the deck. But we have Libra. We have Scorpio. We have Aquarius. And we have Aries so far. All right. Spirit, I need your help. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It feels scattered right now. What kind of healing does cancer need, Spirit, for how this happened? How did, how did this happen? Procrastination came out. You've been procrastinating about something, cancer. Somebody has a black cat. And I think its name is Jeepers. Jeepers. This is a very beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. And there's a lot of clocks around. A very fancy necklace. This cat's name could be Juniper. Or Jupiter. Or something like that. I'm hearing Lacey. And I'm hearing the name Devin. Devin. Okay. This woman looks hurt. Like she's putting off doing something because she's hurt. And she's going to, it's going to hurt her to have to do this. All right, what's being hidden? You have some sadness you're hiding. You can discover your life purpose is hidden. And pay attention to the signs and dreams. Okay, we've been getting these cards together a lot. Okay. Somebody's getting signs in their dreams to point them in the right direction. Now, for some of you, you might just be seeing signs. Like, you're seeing signs of something. You're even having dreams about something. Somehow there's a rainbow. Somebody loves tigers. Somebody plays the guitar, somebody plays a fiddle, and I see somebody who has blonde hair. I'm hearing Alps, the Alps, for some reason. You could have been to the Alps or to some kind of mountain. Somebody's hair is braided in like a, 
a backwards braid, if that makes any sense. Somebody's got a very sexy, unkept hairstyle. Tigger. I'm hearing Tigger. I'm getting a lot of animal names for some reason. Alright, what's being shown? Wow, that's a lot of cards. What's being shown? Oh, that's what I thought. Somebody wants to get fucking laid. <laughs> they in love, though. <laughs> You're in love and you want to get laid. All right, what's going to happen next? God, please help us. Oh, baby. Look at you. Look at you. Spirit said, how teachable are you? You're going to love yourself. And you're going to know how beautiful you are. But for some reason, you have sexuality and love as what's being shown. Somehow you you got some sex being shown and love. Sex and love. Uh, over here, you're hiding sadness, discovering your life purpose, paying attention to the signs and your dreams, and you've been procrastinating. And on the bottom of the day, you're having to let go. You're having to let go. And when you have the fool is what's working, You, you may have to, you may not have any choice but to make this decision. Like, you might be forced and you're procrastinating because you know that it's going to cause you so much pain. Like, I see pain in all of these faces. A lot of pain. Even your love over here. Somebody's watching you too. And you're either pretending like you don't know or you really don't know. Like, they could be looking at nude photos of you. Like, you could be sending them nude pictures. They love you, though, it looks like. But some, for some reason, you're having to let go of something. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the kipper. Is that what the sex called? I can't even think for some reason. Somebody has trouble gathering their thoughts. And I'm channeling your energy, and I'm having trouble, too. The Kipper. That's the name of this. All right, Spirit. How did this happen to Cancer? I'm hearing the name Darnell. All right. How did it happen to Cancer, Spirit? Get it right now. Help me. Somebody has an emerald necklace. Somebody has been, you know, really taking a lot of nude photos. There's a gift. That's how this happens. You can't. So you have a gift. Number 17, which is 8. You have a gift. That's how this happens. Alright, what's being hidden from cancer? Oh my God, cancer. Look. There's somebody that's stealing from you and it's being hidden. Pay attention to the signs. You may even be having dreams warning you about this thief. Somebody is a thief. Number 24, which is a six. Okay. We have 10, 3, 5, and 29. And then we have 24. We have 9, 24, 17. That could be a significant date for somebody. We have 4 and we have 28. <sighs> Alright. So what's being shown? If somebody is a thief, somebody could be a pickpocket. What's being shown? Somebody stole something. What's being shown? Somebody definitely plays a violin or a fiddle. That's being shown. That somebody's in prison. Somebody is in prison. They're in imprisonment. Like, they could literally be locked up. 
Okay. Or recently been incarcerated. Somebody's been incarcerated. They're imprisoned by something. What's going to happen next? Uh, an official person. 22. An official person in concern. Why is this official person here? They could be in the military. Oh, because of their thoughts. This is who you're thinking about, this official person. This could be like your official person, 16 and 22. This official person is thinking. What are they thinking about? A freaking coffin and marriage. Remember death? They're thinking about marriage. This person is thinking about marrying you until death do you part. Somebody might have died. For some reason, there's a marriage here and a coffin, an official person in thoughts. Damn it, boy. And look, there's a child on the bottom of the deck. You have a lot going on. Somebody's been in prison. That's what's being shown. There's an official person who's thinking about a coffin and marriage. Holy shit. They could be thinking about killing their spouse. We're going to pull some cards on this. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What the hell have you gotten yourself into, Cancer? You have a gift. Why do you have a gift? Clarify the gift. Why is this gift here? Talk to me about this gift. A mature woman and a main female. That's the gift. You got this gift from your mother. You're gifted. And there's your community. You're gifted. Your mother, I think, was gifted also. And you inherited this gift. Why are you procrastinating, though? That's what I want to know. And I'm not feeling this as a twin flame reading yet. It could be. There's two women here. A mature woman and a main female. And that's how you got this gift. This person could have given you a gift. But I sense that... Somebody loves flowers, too. You might keep flowers around like I do. Look, the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. There's a lot of nines already coming out of this deck. Alright. <clears throat> six and two, that's eight. Four and two is six. Seven and one is eight. Nine and two is eleven. You can keep up with the numerology, okay? Alright. Why is cancer procrastinating, spirit, when it comes to this gift? Like, I think you're supposed to be using this gift, and you don't want to. And you're having dreams about it. You're really sad. And spirit is showing you somebody's a thief. Alright, you have a page of wands in reverse, a seven of wands in reverse, the emperor upright, and the three of swords in reverse. <laughs> okay, so you're procrastinating because you know that somebody's going to get hurt. You might, this person is thinking about death and marriage. I don't know. There's an emperor here. This person is logical, organized. They have a lot of success. They're in charge of shit. They are the boss, okay? 
They are the, the boss. <laughs> they have a lot of discipline and they're very structured. And they don't take no shit from nobody. In fact, they look like Archangel Michael sitting on this throne. But somebody won't stand. This is somebody who you're terrified of standing up to. <clears throat> I'm concerned about this, okay? There's an emperor who you are afraid to stand up to. Or this could be you. There's a lot of passion here and heartache that you're trying to heal from, I think. Why is the Three of Swords here for the Emperor in regards? It could also be someone that's sick. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright. Holy shit, Cancer. Alright. <laughs> this is somebody I think you're afraid to stand up to. This could actually be your father. Okay? Because we have a mother over here. We have the emperor here and we have the empress here. In between them, we have the king of cups, which is generally you. And then we have a king of swords in reverse. With an empress in reverse. And a, an ace of pentacles in reverse. So it's like... You know that whatever you're fixing to do is going to hurt somebody bad. And it has to do with you moving in with somebody, I think. I, I think that it's that you're not moving in with somebody. <clears throat> wow. Okay. The Emperor is in the upright. The King of Cups is in the upright. The King of Swords, the Empress, are in the reverse. I don't even know why all these people are here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Like, I have to really dig into this to find out what in the hell is going on here. Cancer, your reading is very complicated, sweetheart. Let me see what these people would say. All right, let's see how this happened. How did this happen to Cancer Spirit? It's not that serious. Don't let the bullshit. Laugh, fucker. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. All right, so something obviously happened, and you think it's real serious, but Spirit's saying it's not. All right, what's being hidden? That love can hurt like hell. Breathe through that shit. What's being shown? So somebody's hurt you, or they're, gonna, they're about to hurt you. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Let shit go. Don't be so extra. And what's going to happen next? Unplug and agree to fucking disagree. So you're arguing with somebody. <clears throat> and it looks like you're arguing with somebody about where you're going to live. Or where you're going to work. Because this Ace of Pentacles is like the beginning of something. And you have the Fool here, which is this beginning. It's you moving, moving, doing something new, moving somewhere new. And it's like, here I am, I'm ready to move, but then there's no hope. Why the fuck don't I have any hope? And nothing's going to change to bring this together. <sighs> Go all in or get the fuck out and keep shit clean so somebody doesn't clean up on themselves either. Somebody's a slob. Go all in or get the fuck out. That's what's being said here. Alright, and I am going to pull Twin Flame because now it's starting to look like a Twin Flame. But first I want to see a little bit more about how this happened. Why is the fool here? Because of a union. A soul tie. This fool... Is somebody having a reunion with a twin flame? Alright. Why is the star in reverse here? Because of compassion. And growth in the summer. You feel like there's no hope. But the truth is. Is somebody is going to have compassion. And help you to grow. 
So I'm glad you're going to grow this summer. You're having a reunion with somebody. Why is death in reverse? Because of transformation. Pluto is here. And an ace of wands. So you remember the sex? You're about to have the sex. But for some reason, it's this is going to transform your situation when you have sex with this person. Why is that going to transform it, Spirit? Why is sex that powerful here? I mean, I get it. I know. It. I know. Oh, baby. Because this person is going to fall in love. Look at this. It's an ace of cups. You got an ace of wands and an ace of cups and an ace of pentacles. You are about to start something brand fucking new. And it involves somebody you are in love with. <laughs> and I don't, I guess maybe you've never had sex with this person. Or maybe you have and it's just been a really long time. I don't know. Somebody might be trying to steal your person. Because over here you're hurt. But whatever hurt you, Spirit's saying it's not that serious. So it's like somebody did something or said something that made you think that this reunion is not going to happen. That's what I think. <clears throat> Karma, balance, and justice. Wow. <laughs> like this reading is so complex. I don't even know what it's day or day. But let's find out. Let's find out. How did this happen to cancer? You're, you're working on forming a structure of a solid foundation. I think you're trying to find somewhere to live or work. It's something new, a job, you're trying to get structure in your life. You wanted to, you wanted a solid foundation, but you've been procrastinating, and I think you've waited until the last minute. All right, <clears throat> what's being hidden from Cancer Spirit? Your intuition. You need clarity. You're not seeing something clearly. Your third eye is here with clarity. Or well, maybe you are. Maybe you are seeing something clearly. Clarify third eye and clarity. What is cancer seeing with their third eye and clarity? Do you have fears and limitations? And you're, you're having to surrender, purge, and release something. Yeah. Somebody, I think, is trying to take your person. But over here, you're about to get laid, honey. I don't know how they ended up in prison, but they must be about to get out. All right, what's being shown? Oh, wow. Guess what's being shown, y'all? That somebody is longing and in separation. It's divine masculine, and somebody's got a huge ego. <laughs> huge ego. Look at divine feminine on the bottom of the deck. This is definitely a twin flame. What's going to happen next? There's going to be healing for this inner child. Look at that baby. Somebody might have a little baby. You're about to have some growth and healing. That is a cute little kid. It's got a little doggy. Like, if this little kid loses that stuffed animal, you better have another one put up somewhere that looks... Like it's wore the fuck out already. Because <laughs> this kid, he's not going to even sleep without that baby. And look, your hair is like platinum blonde. I'm hearing the name Delfino or Daphne. You got a lot of rings on your fingers, though. Distance is here. You might be at a distance because this person is incarcerated. Somebody in your life is incarcerated. It doesn't have to be this person. 
Where do we even want to go with this? Like, you fixing to have a new love. What is going on with this shit over here? I want to know why this hidden stuff is, is going down. Give me clarity on what's being hidden. Toxicity and bound. Somebody's bound. Somebody has some toxic behaviors. And I see Divine Masculine's got a big ego. Somebody's open to receive, though. Talk to me about this toxic stuff that's being hidden. Somebody might have an addiction. Talk to me about this stuff. Look, the truth. Spirit says you're telling the truth. <laughs> the truth. You got some addictions going on. Somebody is jealous. Jealous. Somebody has trust issues, too. And I think it's because they themselves are not trustworthy. Let's find out the hidden truth. How does this person feel about cancer? I hide my feelings and I feel so drawn to you. How else do they feel about cancer? I still feel the pain and I feel the sexual tension. So you, they've hurt you. But you're very sexually attracted to this person. You're about to get laid, too. <laughs> How does cancer feel? I daydream about a life with you. How else does cancer feel? I can't be with you. And I don't know why this happened. And I do love you. So they daydream about a life with you. They can't be with you. They don't understand why it happened. And they love you. And this person is over here hiding their feelings, but they're drawn to you, they're hurt, and they have a lot of sexual tension. And we don't share the same values. I want to know how they hurt you. They hurt you, though. And it looks like somebody might have died. And if somebody did, I am so sorry. It looks like you're about to have a death and a wedding. Or maybe this is just a transformation and this is going to lead to marriage. Because right now, <laughs> this might be a, this could be a marriage that needs red, a real bad healing. And it's coming. That's what's going to happen next. <clears throat> Anything else anybody would say here? I'm waiting patiently. They're waiting. And I'm not over you. Alright. Let's find out the shadow side of this. What would this person say to cancer out of the shadow side? What would this person's shadow side say to cancer? Let's get the nitty gritty. Can I get your strong answers only, please, for cancer? Your body language says so much. All right, what else? So you, your body language is talking to this person. Good strong answers for cancer. Thank you. I hope you're happy for me. I hope you're happy for me. Hmm. What else? Keep talking. I'm waiting for an apology. So this person says that your body language speaks volumes. They hope you're happy for them, and they're waiting for an apology. You are not part of my plan. What would cancer say to them? I do wish you well. So yeah, they are not only happy for you, they wish you well. But they lie to you. What else would cancer say? Yes, it is too late, and I wish you would come back. Yeah, it's too late, but I wish you'd come back. I wish you well. Yes, it's too late, but I do wish you'd come back. What well, anything else either one of these people would say, Spirit? <laughs> Y'all have a lot to say to each other. Spirit's telling me, oh. I don't trust you. And you didn't imagine it. So there's trust issues. Remember, I think I just said that over here. Trust, yeah. And whoever you are, you don't even think that divine timing is a factor here. Like, you're just done. 
Like, what what kind of messages do they um, not send to cancer? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel about you. How do they feel about cancer? Pam, who are you really? You change up on me all the time. You're a fucking asshole. I hate you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <laughs> wow, Cancer. <laughs> what would you say to them? You have me confused with somebody else. <laughs> and where have you been my whole life? <laughs> like, this could be a parent-child type thing. All right, what else would Cancer say? Booty call, text, don't judge me, come over, LOL, I can't send this. Where have you been all my life? And do you know who really loves you? Me. I never tell you, though. And it's late, really late. Why aren't you here next to me? So this person gets laid. You, you give them good sex. And they are coming back for more. That is what is being shown. <laughs> But y'all aren't together, and I think that they, I don't think that they're necessarily, they might be with somebody else. I don't know. Let's pull some tarot on it. <laughs> All right, why is the fool here for the sign of cancer? Because somebody's learned some lessons. All right, why is the star here in reverse for the sign of cancer? Because of some partying, some party. Somebody's, you might be going to a party. Somebody's toxic behavior is partying, and that's why there's no hope. And you've learned some lessons. You've been in separation, but you're about to be reunited with this person because you're about to get laid. Why is death here? Because of the Ace of Swords. That is the only Ace that you did not have, and now you have it too. You have every Ace in this freaking deck. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. You are starting over in life. Something brand spanking new. <clears throat> and you're about to get an exciting message about it too. Why is judgment in reverse then? Why would you ever use, oh, because somebody's about to get ripped apart. And it's not quite time. Damn, you're going to hurt this person. You're going to come in, you're going to have sex with them, and then, why is divine timing in reverse? <clears throat> because of rejection, a six of pentacles, which is codependency when it's reversed, an eight of cups, wishing, the nine of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. So you're going to have rejection. The reason why this is here, this ripped apart, is because somebody is going to come in and give you some love. <laughs> and then they're going to give you rejection because of codependency. And they're going to be like, you wish. I think they want to have sex with you. But I think you're going to reject them. And you're going to be like, I'm not going to give you anything because you never treat me right. And I'm just walking away from this. I'm getting away from you. You you wish you you wish I would give you some sex because you know it's the best sex you've ever had. But I don't need you. <laughs> I have my vibrator or whoever. I have my booty call, and I have to take care of this child. <laughs> or I have an idea. I don't know what that is. It could be a child or it could be an idea. It's a so it's a teeny tiny like. This is like trying to give somebody $5 for the best sex they've ever had. <laughs> and you're like, you wish. You wish you're going to be frigid. Because you know this person. You, that's why Lessons is here. And the fool. The fool is you if you give this person sex. Because you already know they're not going to stick around. They've hurt you in the past. You probably already got that booty call text and you're like procrastinating to answer them what's gonna happen here to cancer spirit look y'all you are gonna stand in your power male or female this is the empress that's what's gonna happen to cancer cancer is going to stand in their power 
two now. Oh, wait, here's another caller. Hold the phone. Somebody's awakening. It could be this empress. I thought they're awakening too. Spirit said to get the other deck. Somebody playing mind games. How about them apples? <laughs> this empress is awakening to somebody's bullshit. Where's cancer in this journey? At the end of their cycle? They're over this shit. They're over it. Where's their person? In the material world? Why are they in the material world? They, uh, they have a commitment in money. They're, they are committed to their money. Why is the cycles here for cancer? Because of a release. Clarify this release. You're not even speaking to this person right now. You're not talking to them. You're not listening to them. You're done. Because they have a commitment and they're all about the money. All right. What's the connecting energy for cancer in this person? Pride and ego, honey. Remember Divine Masculine's pride and ego? That's what's connecting, y'all. And that's why this relationship can't move forward. What's going to happen in the next month, Spirit? Somebody's going to refocus. What are they going to refocus on? That Divine Feminine ain't no joke. They're going to refocus on this Divine Feminine. And the answer is going to be yes. Clarify the answer being yes. Somebody's been at a crossroads. But the answer is going to be yes. Which way are they going at this crossroads? Look, they're scared. What are they scared of, Spirit? They're scared that you're going to have a pause and recognition. Somebody's afraid that they're going to have to have a pause and recognition. Why is pause here? Because somebody's being guided. Somebody's being guided towards a mask. Clarify the mask. Why is this is weird? Somebody's thinking about this. You are thinking about this. Somebody is thinking about... Uh, this is about fear. You're afraid that this person is faking. You're recognizing that they're faking. What are they faking, spirit? Oh, baby, the numbing card came out in third party. Clarify numbing. Union. Oh, my God. They are using sex to numb. And look what almost came out with it. Where did it go? Twin flame card tried to turn over. They're using sex to numb out. And they are faking. Wow. You about to give them some more sex, too. You are being... Spirit's like, take a moment, pause... Stop this for a minute and recognize this. Pay attention to the signs. I'm guiding you to see that this person is wearing a mask. And they are faking. They might be faking you about this union. They might be lying to you about even having this reunion. And all they are is numbing. Clarify this. What is going on here? Somebody's awakening. What are they awakening to? That they're going to be abandoned. <laughs> that they have been, they're going to be abandoned. And look, their tribe is here. Look, their tribe is here. Why is the tribe here, though, with them being abandoned? Because this person is a victim. You might be a victim of this whole tribe. This whole tribe could have made you a victim. A lot of people could have known about this and knew that you had been damaged and hurt and lied to and used. Clarify victim. Yeah. Your understanding. Something was received also. Clarify what was received. What has been received, Spirit? The summer is here. And return. 
So your understanding that somebody is going to return in the summer, they made you a victim. Look, my cards are flying everywhere. They made you a victim, and the whole fucking tribe knows that they abandoned you when they were unawakened. Like, there's a lot of people. This could be your whole family involved in this. There's a lot of people involved in this. But I think what's going to surprise a lot of these people is that you're going to reject this person. You're not taking this person back. You're going to tell this person to get the fuck on down the road. Get all in or get the fuck out. I don't want your sloppy seconds. Or anybody else's for that matter. You're over this. You are over this. And you're not even talking to this person, I don't think. But they're about to have a release. Clarify the release. They're coming out of some dark shit they've been through. This imprisonment, I think. And I think this imprisonment may be what's changing them. They're going to want to talk. They're going to want to have sex. They, they even want to live with you, it looks like. But they've abandoned you in the past. Messages, please, for the sign of cancer. Divine Feminine, you keep coming out in this reading over and over and over. This is about Divine Feminine. What about Divine Feminine? <clears throat> Divine Feminine has reached her limit. The final straw. That's what. What's going to happen next? Somebody's going to have some secrets. What about the secrets, Spirit? You've reached your limit with these secrets and these bullshit mysteries. You're tired. You're fucking tired. And this is deja vu. And it's bye-bye bullshit. Take your bullshit away and just leave me alone. Like, I think you're done with this person. You're done. You're sick of the bullshit. You know they've been lying to you about this reunion. They got a drug problem. They've been incarcerated. You have reached your limit. What's this other person thinking, spirit? <laughs> they think you're cold and frozen and waiting. Damn. Time is here. Wait. Cycles. Infinity. With silence, stillness, and no words. <laughs> they think you're frozen in time. What the fuck? Clarify what you mean by that. Like, you, it's like they think you just, like, all time stop because of them. You're infatuated. They think you're infatuated, that you fantasize, that they're the only one for you, that you're having illusions, and that you're about to have a tower. Clarify this tower. I think they're about to have the tower. <laughs> Pretending is here. Distance is here and roaming wild. If you truly are feeling this way, like infatuated and fantasizing and having this, like this is the only person for me, you think this is the only person that will ever make you happy, you're in for a rude awakening because this person is pretending and it's said it over and over again and they are about to separate from you and run wild because they got a drug problem. And they have influences, dark attachments, and third parties. I'm, ha I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. Anything else Cancer needs to know. Cancer, you're beautiful, honey. This is twice you've been told you're beautiful. Anything else? Oh, wow. Spirit said there's going to be consequences for treating you this way. You're going to have intimacy... But there's tension and euphoria. There's going to be consequences for intimacy, tension, and euphoria. Karma. There's going to be karma for this sex. This person uses sex to numb out. To keep them from, like, this is how they, this person is a sex addict. And there's going to be consequences. Clarify the consequences they're going to have. 
Look, the chase, the chase. Relentless pursuit. What do you mean the chase? Oh, card in the wrong deck alert. No, right deck. It's, yeah, it, there's going to be boundaries put in place so that they can't chase. What the hell? They might be about to go to jail. Somebody's hoping, that, but you're better off because of your own innocence. You're so innocent here. You need support. You love with your whole heart. And you're better off because this is a clashing difference that's incompatible in a conflict. You're hoping, but you're better off, Spirit says. And that's where you need this clarity. Remember I said you don't have clarity, your third eye? You're hoping this is going to work out. But Spirit is saying you're better off if it doesn't. Because you are too loving and too kind for this asshole. Anything else Cancer needs to know? There's going to be a confession about somebody who got misunderstood and they were very elusive. Now let's see if we can find out what, what is the confession, Spirit? Give us a confession, please. What's the confession? That I need to focus on my healing. They need to focus on their healing. Or maybe that's your confession to them. I know you're watching me. And I need to focus on my healing. I think you're going to tell this person that you don't want to have sex with them because you know they're not going to stick around. They're only out for a good time and that they're having sex with everybody else in the world. Anything else that would be confessed? Wow. I understand you better now. And I can still see you standing there. And I hope you're happy. So, yeah. Leaving you hurt me too. This is over. This relationship's over. And I think it's for the best. Alright, so what would you say to cancer out of here? Somebody's in denial. Alright. What are they in denial about, Spirit? They're in denial that somebody's unavailable and they need to use their intuition. Clarify in denial about unavailable. Y'all, your twin flame. You're in denial about your twin flame being unavailable. Clarify what that means, though. Wow, that's what I thought. Time apart and a second chance. So, you are about to have a reunion with this person. And you're in denial about it, I guess. It feels like to me, though, that it's for the best. Clarify second chance. Trust came out. Yeah, I guess you're going to give this person a second chance after some time of heart. What's going to be the outcome? Abundance. Beautiful. All right, what else? A spiritual lesson and a freaking apology. If this person with all this pride and ego apologizes to you, they have changed. Truly. Oh, wait, here's another card. Warning. Warning about what, spirit? Support, fate, and friendship. Somebody's having a warning about being supportive, this being fate and a friendship, and you need to wait. Wait for what? For passion. You need to wait. Don't have sex with this person when they first come at you. You need to get, look, rejection and mastery. You need to show this person that you have integrity. And that you're not just going to lay down with any old kind of body. Because that's not who you are. You're a divine fucking feminine. Clarify that to be true. Oh, baby! Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Patience. If you want some of this puss, you better be patient. Because I'm not strictly sexual. If that's what you want, we're on different pages. Period. Period. <laughs> Angels, I see you're helping cancer, but can you show us how? I'm telling y'all, somebody's incarcerated. They're about to have freedom, and they have a guardian angel. And cancer ain't about to lay down with any old body. I'm promising you. Courage is here. Cancer has integrity. 
miracles, protection, surrender, and joy. <laughs> oh, baby. Talk to me about spiritual gifts. There's a rainbow. Oh, wow. You you have a rainbow, a promise. You, you're going to see things from spirit's perspective. You have the lovers, and you are in perfect alignment. Your chakras are aligned, and you have an angel here. And look, there's a house on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Anything else, spirit? Your heart's been broken. But somebody's going to travel, and there's going to be a transformation. And a doorway is going to be open. All right, I want to look at your money for you and see what comes out for your money. Spirit, talk to me about Cancer's money. What's going on with Cancer's money? What's going on with Cancer's money? Right now, you're exploring... Clarify exploring. I think you might be exploring different avenues of careers or something. Oh, you're exploring being a writer, a crafter. You might have a little bit of tendency to be a perfectionist, and you're exploring the past. You might be writing a book. You're writing, you're crafting, you're a perfectionist, and the past is here. All right, what else, Spirit? What's going on with Cancer's Monet? Your emotions are here. Science is here. Motivator is here. You're, you're manifesting recognition for yourself. What's going to be the outcome? You're, you're working on media. Recognition on media. Beautiful. Anything else you want to say? Look, y'all. Social media and beginnings. Somebody is about to begin a social media career. And Spirit says you're manifesting yourself to get recognition. What kind of money are they going to make doing this? You're going to have solitude. Alright. You're going to have stability. And you're unlocking a home for yourself. But right now you're undecided. Stability in unlocking a home for yourself. Why are they undecided? You're going slow. Alright, why are they going slow? Because you're, want, you're trying to be a sport when it comes to the underworld and being persistent. The underworld is like unconventional ways of making new income, sex, death, hidden knowledge, probing into the mysteries of life. As the world evolves, so, so can your means of earning. <sighs> Clarify underworld. Ooh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look, you got in a conflict with somebody and put some spell work on their ass. That's what that's about. <laughs> You're persistent about it, too. And you ain't told nobody, either. I just got a real sharp pain in my neck. You might have a voodoo doll. Outcome of this spell work. Oh, yeah. You're going to be lucky. You're going to get lucky. Somebody's going to be growing up, and they're planning something. What are they planning? They're going to be on the right path. They're planning to grow up and be on the right path. You're going to have good luck and grow up, plan to be on the right path. And silence again. You might be silencing somebody with spell work. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing else about that. Cancer, go for it, baby. Do what, you, do what you do, baby. Do what you do. All right, let's have, do you want to do anything else, Spirit? Let's have some trinkets. <laughs> I think it's for cancer. Cancer be spell working and I ain't saying a damn thing. Do a good, look, do a prosperity spell for me. Because your spell work ain't no joke. <laughs> Alright, you in the astrology, I see. You got two hearts connected. You have
an angel holding a heart or a baby or something. An infinity sign that says love. A tree of life. Another elephant. Another elephant. Another elephant. A lot of elephants. Find joy in the journey. We are all mad here. Alice in Wonderland. I have a peace sign. I have a rose. Hi, Rose. I have Jesus. An Eiffel Tower. A coin. Somebody's into cryptocurrency. Always remember you are braver than you believe. Stronger than you seem. Smarter than you think. And loved more than you know. You're kind, free, true to your heart, happy, at peace, brave, thankful, and compassionate. You have an angel. And then you have this one that says, and given one conception, we make ourselves another. And then you have a butterfly. A butterfly. Trinket that with both. Ferret. Ferret. All right. You have a music note with a skull. Drive safe. I need you here with me. I have an eye ching. Live your dream. I have a dragon. The love between grandmother and granddaughter is forever. I have my military pendant. A metal headgear. An elephant with a heart on its trunk. The word wish. A fancy heart with a flower. A lotus flower. Live, laugh, and love. I have this triangle which could be like AA or NA or it could be about intuition or it could be a third party type thing. It kind of looks like a pendulum too. I have an arrow. I have a feather. I have a little thing that says I love my dog and it has a doggy paw. You love your dog. Live your dream. You have another lotus flower. A Harry Potter nine and three quarters. No matter where. A horse, an infinity sign, and a ball. Beautiful. A cancer. I am proud of you. <laughs> like, I don't know if I've read this all correctly or not. There was so much going on here. But I did the best I could for you. And I hope that you will let me know if it resonates. Okay? All right. Oh, let me get you some initial. Who are you talking to, Spirit? T-O-C-F-B-M. C-O-T-G-B-F-M. Cody? G-I-P-Q-M-D-T. D Q R T A L I D D F T E H W Ta da! Alright, cancer. I love you, darling. Be blessed. Bye bye.